Hi everyone and welcome back to Rider Recess. I'm Claire, the program director and an instructor at Special Equestrians. Today we're going to be talking about one of my other favorite hobbies, aside from horseback riding obviously, and that's drawing. So make sure that you have paper, pencil, and an eraser, whatever ones work best for you, and let's get started. So today we're going to be drawing a horse's head from the side uh, with the nose facing this way. And if you notice, I'm using lime paper just to kind of create a little bit more of a guide of how I'm, how I'm drawing. A little help to develop your artistic eye, especially for those that are just kind of getting started. And especially in drawing circles too. Circles can, can be a challenge. So lines can kind of help create a better eye for a circle that you like. So if you notice, I've started with a larger circle there, and I'm going to move down to a smaller circle that will be our nose. And notice it's probably about pencil width away, depending on how big you want your horse's head to be or how small. You could do the circle a little closer for more of a squat face, a little further away for a longer face, which is kind of more what I'm going for right here. Okay, once you have these two circles, and you notice again, there's that slight downward angle there. Let's talk about the four big, the four points of this circle. So you've got the top, bottom, let's say north, south, east, and west. Between north and west, we're going to kind of have a point here, that middle point between those two. And we're going to start there and draw a line from that point down to the other circle. Now, I'm actually not going to leave that line straight because I feel like that makes for a bolder nose of what I'm going for for today. So I'm going to take from this point and I'm going to follow the circle just a little bit and kind of swoop that line down. And of course, depending on the breed of horse that you're aiming to draw, that could change. It could be a little more of a swoop, could be again a little wider nose. It all depends on what you're aiming for. All right, once I've finished that, We'll follow that curve around. We'll add a little more definition to the nose later. Once we get to the bottom of the circle, we're going to create a little arc there just to create the rest of the head. Follow this circle and then bring this line up a little early to create a better jaw line. Because if we follow this circle, it's going to create much too big of a jaw for a typical horse picture. So we'll go from there. Now that you have your basic horse head shape, we're going to add the neck. So we're going to start from that north point that we talked about and drop this line down off. I'm actually going to turn my paper. Paper does not have to be stationary. It's whatever you prefer. And drop that arch down. And I'm just kind of looking for the neck shape that I want. Go back to the jaw. We're going to do the bottom of the neck now. Center that a little more for you guys. And a steeper arc create that neck. That actually looks like a pretty narrow horse neck, so we're going to bring this up a little more. But we won't have to worry about that too much in a little bit when we do the mane. Okay, so now that we have most of our bases, I'm going to take some of these lines away because our guides were useful, but we don't need them anymore. So let's take away and take a look at how that horse head looks. Now again, you might come to this point and say, I took the guides away. I don't like how this looks. You just start over. That's the fun part of using a pencil. You can erase, start over, change details, however you want to. All right. So now that I have my horse head there, we're going to start with some ears. So as you work on the how to figure out the details of the ears, it's best to start with just general shapes. And a triangle is going to be your friend for making an ear. Now, once you have a bit better feel for it, you're going to make it more of a petal shape, adding a little curve. Now this ear would be facing straight toward us. I'm going to change the angle of our ear and face it forward more and add a little curve at the back to show where that ear is connected. Don't worry, I will erase all of those excess lines later. And then I started with the ear that's closer to us. Now we're going to add the ear that's further away. So we're going to add that curve up and then curve away because that ear is facing away from us. It's listening to something in the distance over in that direction. So let's get rid of some of these lines. I'm also going to soften the lines of the horse's ear with my eraser just because there was a lot of sketching I was doing there. 
Now this horse is going to look a little more cartoony, not as anatomically correct, because we're just having fun. If you want to be just super correct, best advice I have is to get some horse pictures and start using those to develop your eye, develop how you want things to look. You should have seen my pictures when I was a kid. They turned, they were like boxes with four rectangular rectangles for legs. All right, so now let's add some of the hair here. So we're going to start with the forelock. And I'm going to do a nice, long forelock with lots of hair, kind of like Baird has. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit more of the mane. Now, you've got a couple options for the mane back here. You can do a short mane. You notice I started to do a longer mane. But you can do a short mane, one that just kind of comes right off of the neck there. You could do a nice, long, flowing mane, which is probably what I'm going to choose today. Or you can do like a mane that is blowing in the wind. But if you do that mane in the wind, remember that forelock should be in the wind too. So you want to have all of that hair blowing. So now that hair builds up off of the neck. So whatever line you have for the neck, you're going to come up and off of that. So you see this is where my neck is? The hair loops up and off. And you want to kind of add the curves to that hair. Because again, it just adds more definition to it. Okay, now that we have those details, let's zoom in. We're going to work on the eye a little bit. Okay, so from the forehead here, we're going to come down. And I'm just going to draw a very light circle. Mainly because we're not going to keep it as it is. So we're going to add a little triangle here. We're going to add some shape to this eye. Another little triangle higher up, and that brings more character to the eye. Now, an important piece to remember is we need an eyelid, because that adds expression. So depending on how your horse is feeling that day, if the eyelid is up and wide, your horse is wide awake. If it's a little lower, your horse is sleepy. But just look at what kind of the angle that does for our horse. Okay, I'm going to soften these lines, because you don't want too hard of a line. I actually feel like I made that eye really big, so we're going to make that a little smaller. Horses do have big eyes, but not that big. Okay, so again, two triangles. And drop that eyelid down. So that horse is looking off in the distance. And now, we just want to add one last piece, small circle up here. And that just adds a little more character. That adds a little sparkle to the eye, which is important because it shows where the light is and again adds definition. Now let's talk about the nose. We're going to actually curve in this nose a little bit. I felt that nose was a little long, so I'm actually really bringing it in. And you add that little curve that creates the nostril on the far side. An outward curve for the muzzle. Another inward curve for the mouth and chin. Add it to the curve there, and let's take a look at how that looks. And that'll just create more shape to your horse's face. Okay, so let's talk about the closer nostril now. So you want almost a little comma there. I'm actually going to go a little wider, and then it turns into a teardrop. Now, depending on what your horse is doing, that nostril shape could change. If you've got that flowing mane and your horse is running, that nostril will want to be big. So bring in all that air. Last little detail we're going to add is a mouth. And we know horses love to eat, so you got to make sure you got a nice wide mouth for them. And this one's going to smile because it's happy to see all of you guys. Alrighty. And there is our horse. So post what you guys do with this. I'd love to see your own drawings of your horses. Thank you so much for joining me today.